Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are trying it again, which means we are revisiting an older foundation. And today's foundation is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NC50. And that's the look we got going on today with the face. If you want to see my thoughts on this foundation, is it still the same from prior years? Do I still feel the same about MAC? then make sure you keep on watching. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, as well as turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I post new videos. And I'm out of here. Bye, guys. Okay guys, for Foundation Try It Again series today, we're going to revisit the MAC Studio Fix Foundation with SPF 15. Mine is in the shade NC50 and it's still $42. You know MAC has had this out for decades. <laughs> decades, <laughs> right? And it says it's a 24-hour color-free foundation color true foundation in 63 shades wow i did not know it came in 63 shades buildable medium to full coverage in a natural matte finish that won't cake crease settle into fine lines or pores my eyes watering our lightweight all free formula provides all day hydration and won't cause breakouts for all skin types i know like back in the day that was a lot of people's concerns with this or with MAC products was that it would cause their skin to break out. So um, I wonder if they updated it, you know, to reflect or did some like reformulation, but I don't remember them doing a reformulation of this. Not at all. So my shade is NC50. Let me see what undertone it is. You know, the C in MAC means cool. The W means warm. For as long as I've been using MAC, I've always been NC50. Yeah, they got NC45.5. Oh, I did not know they came out with all of these. This says it is cool. It just says cool. I don't know why I thought it was going to say something else. It just said cool. Okay, so let's see. Y'all yeah, know I've been into this try it again with these foundations. I wish that MAC would come out with a pump, though. MAC, it's about that time that you come out with a pump. Enough is enough. You should have a pump by now, okay? For forty-two dollars, the foundation needs to come out with a come with a pump. So, put a little bit on my handy dandy thing, just a little tiny bit, cause like I said, buildable coverage. And my face has already been primed with my Elf Cookies and Dream and my Booster Drops. Oh, it's cold. It's cold in here. Shoot, it's cold. Let me warm it up. And then. Spot it on there. I haven't picked this up in quite some time. And I noticed recently, like a lot of people have been going to my Mac um, video. I know at one point, like for women of color, like Mac was the go to foundation or makeup. Uh, company that women of color could go to and get shade match even though they used to always match you to either NC45 or NC50 <laughs> but now I see they have 63 shades so not everybody should be NC45 or NC50 all right let's play you know MAC still has that smell you know a MAC product when you smell it it smells like makeup. They can improve in that area. It don't have to smell like makeup no more, Matt. It doesn't have to have any scent at all, at all, if you want it to. I'll be on the board of directors if you want me to be there and help y'all out. Because I still think MAC is a marvelous company, like lip products, hand down favorite lip liner chestnut night moth original ogs foundation powder to even the liquid foundation staple in your collection 
I consider this to be a staple in my collection. This is how the skin is looking. You know, just that little bit of product. Buildable. So now I get when brands say buildable because now I'm learning to build and not just throw it up on my face all at one time. Brush. Pat it in, don't try it. It still has a, it said, did it say natural matte? Let's see, because it still got a radiant to it. Let's see, what did I say it said? What did I say it said? Uh, natural matte. So I guess this is natural matte. Yeah, I know I'm going to let it sit for a minute like I normally do, and then we'll come back and do concealer. Okay, of course we're going to use a hydrating concealer. My Essence Keep Me Covered in Golden Tan because I would never, ever, ever put a light, uh, I mean a matte concealer paired with this matte foundation. It's like way too much coverage. I had my Too Faced sitting right there. Okay, my Too Faced multi scope, and I'm like, no, no. That's like way, that's overboard coverage. Okay, I'm going to take some of my KVD translucent powder. Okay, and some of my cast I won't stop. I did good. I used this all week long, so I'm very proud of myself for not switching up, like using it. And it doesn't hurt that it's a beautiful powder also. Look at me trying to look. <laughs> that is not a mirror, Nana. 
Okay, let's take some of the all-time favorite lip liner in Chestnut. Okay, I'm going to let the lip liner do what it needs to do and sit there because while I can get dressed because I'm thinking I want to do a red lip. And this is where I miss my Night Moth because Night Moth was my go-to lip liner when doing a red lip. And now I'll be back if I can stop dropping stuff. Okay, let's take this matte liquid lipstick. I think it's the Retro Matte in Ruby Pew. Uh, you got to make sure that your lips is moisturized when using this and also don't put a lot. Because you don't want it to start peeling. I think I'm going to set this foundation with a little bit of my translucent powder. Today is red for wear red Friday for heart disease prevention. So I just throw on a sweatshirt. Okay, let that sit for a minute. Okay, dust away. And spray, go again. Okay guys, back with the completed look, the MAC Studio Fix um, Foundation in NC50, and it's still one of my favorites. It's just something that I will always have in my collection because I love it, I know how to work with it, it works with me, we have no issues. I think MAC just probably needs to really step up their promotions and their advertisements and come out with some new products, even though they did come out with their new foundation last year the max studio radiance i enjoy this it's good but not do i prefer it over the matte one and that's you know that's crazy right because y'all know i love a good dewy foundation but i prefer this one i prefer the matte one over the radiant one but they're both still good uh yeah i just wanted to revisit that for this foundation today because I haven't picked it up in a long time and like I said I see a lot of um, people watching my older Mac videos so I don't know if Mac is coming out with something new or you just want to go back to your roots or whatever but yeah I love me some Mac if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like share comment I had to make sure the microphone was on make sure you like share comment and subscribe and I'll catch y'all later bye guys